Hello students, welcome to English Today channel. In today's class, we are going to learn about some common expressions and their meaning. These common expressions are phrasal verbs. I am going to teach you the meaning of these phrasal verbs or the common expressions we use in our daily life and the meaning with an example. Okay? Are you ready? Shall we go to the class? Yes. Now, for the time being, this is the first common expression. For the time being, that means what? For the time being, that means for the moment. For this moment, for some time. You are able to understand? For the time being, for some time. No, no, rather, that is the meaning. For the moment, at this moment. Okay? Example. Mary was angry with Tom. Mary is angry with who? Tom. And she decided not to say anything for the time being. So for that moment, she doesn't want to speak anything because she is very angry with Tom. So the expression, what we learn is for the time being, for the moment, for now. I don't want to talk anything because I am very angry with him. For the time being, I just keep quiet. You are able to understand? You can very well use it when you talk to somebody. For the time being, I don't want to involve with you. That means what? From now. That is for this moment. For some time, I don't want to come or involve with any matter because I am not in a mood. You are able to understand? For the moment, for some time, for this moment, I don't want to do anything. For the time being. So the meaning is for the moment, Mary was angry with Tom. And she decided not to say anything for the time being. For some time. For the time being. For the moment. She doesn't want to talk. Got it? Okay. Shall we go to the next one? To own up. What is the second expression? To own up. What is the meaning? To confess. What is the meaning of to confess? Suppose you make some mistake. Okay? You make some mistake. And you feel very guilty about it. And you want to talk to someone or tell someone that you made a mistake. That means what you are doing, you are confessing your guilt or you are confessing your mistake to someone. That's what the meaning of to own up. To confess, to tell about your mistake. Now see, now Radha decided to own up to the teacher that she has stolen the pen. So Radha has stolen the pen. Okay? She was hiding so long. Now she wants to confess. She wants to uh, free, make herself free from the guilt by confessing her fault. You are able to understand? So Radha decided to own up. To own up means to confess to the teacher that she has stolen the pen. She has stolen the pen. Okay? She uh, did not tell to anyone. But now she has decided to confess to own up to the teacher. That is the meaning of to own up. Got it? Now, let's go to the third expression. To turn up. To turn up means to arrive. To turn up, to arrive. So, Mama turned up on time. She came, she arrived on time. The train turned up on time. You are able to understand. Turned up. Usually we say for uh, you know, people and even to the vehicles or something. Whenever it is on time, you can say they arrived. Okay, they arrived. The meaning of uh, to turn up is to arrive. So whenever somebody is arriving, you can say they turned up. They turned up. Unexpectedly they turned up, you say. That means what? Unexpectedly they arrived. Okay? She turned up on time. She arrived on time. So the meaning of to turn up is to arrive. Now our example is Mala turned up on time for the match. So she wanted to witness the match or she may be a player of the match. So she arrived. She turned up on time for the mass. This is the third expression. So what are the expressions we learn? For the time being, to own up, to turn up. Okay? The fourth one is very common. So common it is well off. What is the meaning of well off? Very rich. So Gita seems to be a well off person. That means she seems to be a very rich girl. Okay, understand? So well off means rich. Gita seems to be well off. Gita seems to be well off. That means she is rich. Okay. The next expression is to bring about. To bring about. That means to make something happen. Bring about. 
bring the boat means to make something happen. The cause. Okay, because of this it is happening. Okay. So example is the revised tax code brought about considerable changes in the accounting. So tax code, they have changed it. So when they revised the tax code, it brought out, brought about, bring about, past tense is brought about considerable, remarkable changes in accounting section. So because of the changes of the code, the accounting section improved. Got it? So now for example, the government has brought up some changes, considerable changes in the educational system for the betterment of the students. So the effect is, it is going to be good for the students. They brought up some new changes. Okay. So this is what? To make something happen. They made something happen. The government brought up. Okay. So they brought about some changes in the educational system for the benefit of the students. So these are the five phrasal verbs or the common expressions we learn. For the time being, that means for the moment, for now. The moment means now. Okay? To own up means to confess. To turn up means to arrive. Bell up means rich. To bring about, to make something happen. So we we'll go to the next one. Okay, the next expression is to spot. What is the meaning of the word spot? To notice something. I spotted a snake in the park. That means I noticed a snake in the park. You are able to understand. Okay, we will come up with another example. While travelling, they spotted a huge six-legged spider. They spotted a huge six-legged spider. That means they noticed something. They noticed a spider while travelling. I noticed a snake in the park. So, spot out. Okay, to spot. That means to notice something. I spotted out. Okay, you are able to understand. While traveling, they spotted a huge six-legged spider. In the park, I spotted a huge snake. Got it? Okay. We will go to the next expression. To grasp. It's a very common expression. I think most of you would have used it while talking. To grasp. That means what? To be able to understand. Okay? To be able to understand something difficult. Usually the common people, that means average people, may not understand the concept very easily. Maybe with the practice or with the two or three uh, times while they listen, they can grasp it. But a quick grasper, that means a person who can understand very quickly, to grasp something very quickly, to understand something which is very difficult, that is the meaning of grasp. You are able to understand. To grasp means to be able to understand something very difficult. Only very intelligent people can grasp things faster. You are able to understand? So to grasp means to be able to understand something difficult. Example, though Raj is the youngest, though Raj is the youngest, he is able to grasp anything quickly. He is able to understand the difficult words quickly. That's the meaning. To grasp. That means to be able to understand something difficult. Slip up. What's the meaning of slip up? Slip up means make a mistake. Making a mistake is slipping. Because he's slipping from the right path as well. That's how the word comes out. Slip up. Okay. Example. The teacher advised him not to slip up on the stage. So not to make any mistake on the stage. Usually people will have the stage fear. So the teacher advised him not to slip up. On the stage. Slip up means make a mistake. Okay. The next one is easy going. It is also a very common expression. You must have come across. Easy going means very relaxed. Okay. And easy to please. So people will find very comfortable with such persons. So what's the meaning of easy going? Relaxed or easy to please. Example. My brother is a easy going person. Okay. My brother is an easy going person. Okay. To come up with. What is the meaning of to come up with? To think of a new idea. To come up with. That means to think of a new idea. Example. The students were asked to come up with best projects. To come up with new ideas of the projects or new projects. To come up with. That means to think of a new idea. Maybe for the science exhibition, the teacher doesn't want the same old projects to be continued. So she is asking the students 
to think of a new idea. That means to come up with the students are asked, are asked by the teacher to come up with best projects. Got it? So we learned totally 10 expressions and I am sure you understood all the 10 expressions. Actually they are phrasal verbs but we use it commonly in our language. That's why they get some common expressions and the meaning with examples. So you practice them, you learn them and you use them in your language. So your language will be perfect. Got it? Okay students, I'll meet you in my next video. Bye.